everyone, thank you for joining us today. We are Keep It Kind. My name's Sarah and we have Glenn doing the camera. So thank you very much for joining us wherever you are in the world. Today we're going to be making cherry blossom solid bubble bars and um, we've been really busy over the weekend so we've just made some savage soap for all you gentlemen out there. If you'd like to um, have a look at that there is a video that's listed uh, and it is called savage soap. So please just go ahead and take a look at that and I'll do some excellent skills with the piping. And please switch on that notification bell because during the week we should be bringing you some other products. I think I'm going to try making a cherry blossom uh, bath bomb and maybe an emulsified scrub. So something more to look forward to so but for tonight for today sorry we're going to be making cherry blossom solid bubble bars we're all ready to go ahead and start weighing out so first of all we need just make sure that i reset my scales to zero we need 20 ounces of baking powder and that's going to go directly into our sieve and next up we need our cream of tartar, and this is four ounces of our cream of tartar today. And that again is going straight into our sieve. We don't want any clumps in this mixture whatsoever. And then next up, we need our three ounces of kaolin clay. And that again is going directly into the sieve and I'm just going to sieve all this through to remove any clumps. And then we need five ounces of our cocoa beet. And next up we have our apricot kernel oil. So I get all my oils from the soapery and I can't sing their praises enough. They are fantastic. So we need 2.5 ounces of our apricot kernel oil. And then next up, I'm using my cherry blossom fragrance oil and I get all my oils from Supplies for Candles. And again, fantastic source. So we need two ounces of our fragrance oil today. Pour everything into my mixture here. So that's all my oils, my fragrance oil. is going directly in there and the Coco B. And I'm just gonna give the bowl a quick scrape make sure I've got all those goodies out and that is it for now we do have to add our sodium lauryl sofa acetate but I will be doing that once this has been mixed up so next up what we need to do is take it over to the blender and give that a quick blend through and now that everything's been blended up I'm just going to add my last product and that is our sodium lauryl sofa acetate two ounces of sodium lauryl sofa acetate. And then the sodium lauryl sofa acetate or SLSA is gonna go directly into our blender. And I'm gonna give that a mix through. And I'm just gonna let this sit now for roughly about five minutes, just for it to start start getting a little bit more malleable so that I can work it into a dough. So I'm just gonna let this sit for about five to 10 minutes and then we should be able to mold it. So now that I let that sit for five minutes, it is now at the right consistency for me to be able to mold it. But what I need to do is I need to split the batch because I'm making this two separate colors. So I want partial white and partial pink. I'm just gonna go in with my hand, make sure everything is mixed in thoroughly. And that looks absolutely fine. So as I said, I'm just gonna split this into two. I think that's roughly two, eyeballing it. I'm just gonna put that back on there, onto the blender. So we have our, our white part there, I'm just gonna leave that. And then to this batter, or batter, to this dough, it is more like a dough. I'm just gonna add some rose red mica powder. I'm just gonna get all the mixture back off and go in with my hand to make sure I bring all that white up to the surface to make sure that everything has been colored correctly. And I'm happy with that. And then we can go ahead and start molding. So now that we have our pink and our white made up to the dough consistency, all I had to do was I did add just to 
break it down I did add just a tiny bit more baking powder just so that it was a little bit more easier to get it out of the the um the blender so I just added a tiny bit more baking powder just give it a little bit mixed through and it was easy to unmold so what we need to do is we need to put down a sheet of our greaseproof paper and I want the the outline of it to be pink so I'm just going to take out my pink as you can see it's very easy to to move about it doesn't stick to my hands I'll show you in just one second but it's not sticking to the paper at all so it's very easy to work with it's really easy to work with doesn't stick to my hands it's a great recipe. I'm just going to get this into the center of the paper. And then I'm trying to get it into like a rectangle shape. And I'm happy with that shape. So all I need to do now is go in with the white on the top. I am going to keep just a little bit of the white there. I'm just going to place that on top and then do exactly the same. There we go, and I'm just gonna move this round so that it's facing me. And all we need to do is bring up our parchment paper so that it folds. Give it a gentle push down as you go. And there we have it. I'm just going to get rid of this. What you could do is you could put a little layer of um, bicarbonate of soda down just so that it doesn't stick while you're molding. So all that's left for me to do is cut these into shape. But I'm gonna let that sit for roughly about 10 minutes. I've been letting this stiffen up or harden up um, and just to expand, as you can see, it's expanded. All I need to do is just, I'm gonna cut the ends off. And I'm just going to cut them into about one inch. About one inch long. Now that we're at that stage, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to give them a little bit of a helping hand. We can do it in that shape or we can leave them as they are but they're going to have to take a little bit of a time just to harden up so these are going to have to be set for roughly 24 hours. So we've managed to get 12 bath bombs, uh, bath bombs, 12 bubble bars out of that batch. I do have a little bit of the, the white and the pink left over and I've made a couple of little samples there. I'm just going to cut those in half um, and then we've got four little samples that we can give away. But for this, I'm just going to, because I said I want some flowers, get some brown mica powder. I'm just going to put it directly into this part. And I'm just going to mix that in with my hands. 
So we've done, I've started off making them, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I do them. So this is made with the, the dough, which I coloured brown. And then I'm just going to add, I've got in here, I've got a little bit of rubbing alcohol. And I'm just going to add some brown mica powder to that. And I'm going to use a very fine brush and I'm just going to give that a bit of a mix through. And then I can go ahead and paint on some branches. doing those ones for now so I'm just going to add a little bit of the red mica powder to some rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to place a couple of little cherries a little bit of glitter just because I can and who doesn't like a little bit of glitter And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of my pink biodegradable glitter. They're both biodegradables. And there we have it. There's our cherry blossom scented bubble bars. We're just gonna take you into the bathroom and show you with this, just this little piece of dough that I've got left over, just how many bubbles you can get from that just one piece. So let's take you into the bathroom just to show you. So here's that little piece of bubble bar that we've got left over here. And all I'm going to do is just drop it into the warm water. And there we have it. Look how many glorious bubbles we get just from that little piece of bubble bar. And wow, guys, the smell, simply stunning. Lovely. There we have it, guys. We've got 12 cherry blossom scented bubble bars and we've got five little sample bubble bars there. And um, during the week, we are going to be making some future um, bath bombs so we're going to be making some cherry scented cherry blossom scented bath bombs so please make sure you switch on that notification bell so you don't miss any future vlogs if you happen to like what you see then please consider giving it a, a huge thumbs up we really do appreciate it and if you have any comments me or Glenn will get back to you as soon as we possibly can so just leave them down below and don't forget please subscribe to the channel all that's left for me to say is take care god bless and I'm out of here bye